Warrington Wolf supporters have loved their trips to Wembley for four Challenge Cup finals in the past nine years but what could be in store for the showcase rugby league occasion in the future if the national stadium is sold? The implications of what is understood to be an £800 million bid, with the owner of Fulham Football Club reported to be the prospective buyer, would not be known for some time even if the FA elected to sell. As it stands, football's governing body is understood to be considering the offer. As well as Fulham, Shahid Khan owns NFL team Jacksonville Jaguars. NFL, on the road, matches have proved popular crowd pullers at Wembley and he might like the idea of basing an American football side at England's iconic venue, having seen the success of Tottenham Hotspur's temporary stay at the 90,000-seater this season while work on their new home takes place. Topically, it does beg the question though, what would Rugby League's Challenge Cup competition be without the trip to Wembley as the reward to the finalists? The earlier rounds of the largest rugby league competition in the world have struggled to attract crowds that come close to matching league attendances, with semi-finals even being staged in stadia of 11,000-12,000 capacity and still not being filled. That was the case for the Wire's last semi-final appearance against Wakefield Trinity at Lee Sports Village in 2016, while there was less than 5,000 watching Steve Price's first venture into the competition as Warrington coach against Bradford Bulls in the fifth round on Saturday. Despite the lure of the Wembley aura for supporters of the finalists and rugby league fans in general, the stadium does not get filled for an event that has been considered one of the country's crown jewels for live BBC television coverage. Those circumstances and this £800 million bid are a worry for those who love the tradition of Wembley weekend, that there could be changes ahead that may have an impact on the annual pilgrimage south. Where else could the Challenge Cup final be played that would give the finale the same prestige and make it a competition that the players dream of winning as much, and in some case more, than the Super League Grand Final itself? While the new Wembley was being built, crowds flocked to the Challenge Cup deciders staged at the Millennium Stadium in Cart at Twickenham Stadium in London and Murrayfield in Edinburgh. But fans also saw them as a novelty, a possible once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see their heroes play in those alternative venues, not as a permanent home to the major event year after year. Perhaps a different marquee venue each year would rekindle some fire for the Challenge Cup, and perhaps that would be the way to go if Wembley ever became unavailable to Rugby League. But being honest, where is there that's better than the magic of Wembley? I do fear for the competition's future. It cost £757 million to build the new Wembley which opened in 2007. The FA are not due to complete payments for the ground until the end of 2054 so it's easy to see why a buyout could be regarded as an attractive proposition. And Rugby League's place in the outcome of any buyout is anyone's guess. Khan has issued a statement to PA Sport that reads, Should we be fortunate to close on the purchase, it's important to stress that the spirit and essence of Wembley would be unchanged. Wembley is a special place, beloved in London and known throughout the world. I understand the responsibility and accountability that would be ours to accept, and at all times, we will be guided so the stadium and Wembley brand are both protected and enhanced. We will take excellent care of Wembley Stadium in every respect, and at all times be good citizens and neighbours here in London and beyond. I am grateful for all of my experiences and investments in London, and am privileged to have this opportunity with the FA to forge an agreement that I am certain will be a victory for everyone.